Yes, you are welcome. We are in Little Town. As you can see, we are in Little Town. And uh, we are here to in a Lao Heritage Center. So we are going to show you uh, the different cultural instruments, cultural tools that the Lao people used to use. So we are going to enter and we show you what the Lao people, uh, the, the, the things that did define Lao people here. So yes, enter with, go with me guys, come with me guys. Inside, uh, You know, you get out. Ah, you know, 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 so, so just to explain, uh, this, this is a pot, uh, and this pot is used for storing water. In, 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 in Africa, we don't, uh, in Lao and actually and, and, and Luo, uh, sub region, we don't use the fridge, refrigerators. This is what we use, our fridge, Af African fridge. We use it for storing water. So, this, uh, the Lao people specifically designed this to, to, to keep the pot away from the children because children, in the, in the drinking water, they, couldn't, they contaminate water. They will drink water, they put their hand. So, this is made specifically to avoid them from contaminating the water and uh, misusing the pot since everyone drinks water and everyone should drink safe water. However, these days, um, however, there is another version of that. It's normally kept in that way. This is uh, for the kids. The kids can access this. Everyone can access this because even it's low and they can come and drink water. So still, you just shift, uh, then you, you, you get your water and you drink and you put it back. So that is meant to keep children away from the, from the water pot and keep the water clean. Chicken, this is for rare in chicken. It's called otago in Lebanon. In this we don't uh, we, we, we just want to have uh, we don't build houses and to keep to keep to pick to keep chicken. This is the one we use the, the lamb for use to use for rearing that chicken. It's called osogo. So if you have your chicken and it's uh, it's, it's, it's laying eggs normally inside there with the laying it's eggs. not for laying eggs. Just for rearing. Just for rearing. Oh, so they, they, okay. For laying eggs is down here. Oh. Man, man, man. So this is this is the one used for, for, for laying eggs. Mm. It is like an incubator, African incubator, long incubator. So they always put the, the chicken lays the eggs. Then they put some some soft um, maybe a residue of maize of uh, of of uh, uh, furniture, woodwork. Those 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 those, those, those residues. They pour them there to keep to, to avoid the eggs from, from, from breaking. And now the the the, 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 the end will lay the egg uh, on those residues. So let's um, get to find out. Uh, yeah, they do so, you can't get a child. 
So this is like this is like the the sack. Uh, this is called tua. The lamp we call it tua. When you are from a vesting, your 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 maids, and uh, maybe you don't want it to get um to to get um pest pest to destroy to disturb it, you store them inside here. Then you cover you cover it here. So so it will be pest free. Uh, it will be pest free, and it will, it is good for storing your 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 your, your, your products from the garden, your agricultural products. So the lamp for it. This is a two um a two um good <laughs> So this, they, say, um, they explain that in Lao, uh, when, when, when you give birth to twins, they will use this spot to, to celebrate uh, and, 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 and the ceremony. It's going to be part of celebration okay. ceremony. I don't know what they put inside here uh, to celebrate the ceremony, but it is these two symbolize the twins, because they, a twin is like giving birth to two kids at once. So they give these two to symbolize that uh, they are welcome with two babies, not one, and they use it to welcome because it is joy for a mother to give birth to two, to two kids at once, and it is supposed to be celebrated. Even the children for celebrate, and we don't use this stuff. We also celebrate, uh, we celebrate uh, twins. There's a, a specific dance for a twins. Kajo, Kajo, and Rudy. They celebrate. Uh, yeah, they are but one kid, no, but two the twins. Double blessing. That's a double blessing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, because uh, they believe actually people for us believe that uh, when you give birth to when you when you give birth to, to twins, uh, it, is, it is it is superstition and it's uh, something that is not normal. They say that uh, they, 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 they they call you me job. It's like a job is like <laughs> How oh, devil is like, uh, I, I don't want to bring it that way, like devil, I don't, to, I don't want to bring it that way, but they call you in job because they said you, you give birth to ab, uh, an abnormal, abnormal children, like two kids is abnormal. And that's why they always celebrate, so that if it comes with any kind of um, bad, bad luck or something, it's just a way. <laughs> so we, this is for you used for making our cultural food, which is called Dekmo. Uh, the way we do it, because they can't show it, because not, we don't have the food here, but this is one of our cooking items. So I'm going to go now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Then, uh, man, will come Alunyashi, your king Melan, Kaika, and to get a program, and you all come in at the weekend. You catch it, you can, 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 you they bring it here because it's a cultural heritage and people have to see it. But when, they, when he has any special event occasion that it needs to be, they normally carry this and they take it to that event and this is where it sits. That's why no one is allowed to come and sit and sit on this. On this. It's strictly for the, for the king of Laos and this is where he puts 
its footsteps. Now, this is a, a symbol, it's that animal. It's called a rhino. Uh, that's a, um, in, in Lao, we call it a mura. So it's a symbol for the, for the Lao people. Uh, they have their, 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 their reason for, for, for choosing that, 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 that animal. Uh, in Uganda, every tribe has a symbolic animal. Lao has uh, a mura, which is a rhino. Actually, has elephant, uh, which, uh, which is um, uh, which is a uh, which is uh, and different other tribes have their own uh, like Baganda they have a uh, goma which is lion uh they have an, 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 a cow so all they all symbolize something in the in the in a culture so tell us about this, this item so this is this is a shield lamp people used to use during war. When they are going for war, the warriors will carry this and a spear. It is a this is for protection. As you all know, a shield is for protection. And our shield, this is the what is made of, it's a very hard. So it is used when someone sends you, it you use it for guarding yourself and protecting yourself during war. And there is a spear that they use during war to fight. So we did those days we didn't have guns, we didn't have um, uh, I don't know any other metallic shield. So this is what we used to use. We used to make use of our local environment to make tools that will help us in all circumstances, to help us carry out every duty, eat our food, uh, cook, we used to use what is available. We didn't have, we didn't use uh, we didn't have the plastics. Uh, met metallics didn't have them, so we are using our natural environment, trees, wood, uh, animal skins to make everything that you can use in a home and outside. So uh, basically that's what we have here. So this is called, this is called what? Chip. Chip, chip. The Lao people, they say, they are telling me, the Lao people, when they, when they, when they marry you, you as a woman, you have to put this on the waist. Not me, I can't put it because I'm not married. <laughs> so you have to put, I don't know what it symbolizes. It symbolizes what? Man, tie, me, a mok, be, ni, ta, he, no? Ni, ta, he, no? Ni, ta, he, no? Man, ta, ang, ka, u, mi, ni, ma, la, ti, ko, ko. Uh, okay, this is for better for us. You are there for the for the marriage. You're not going anywhere. You as a woman, you tie this on your waist. Come rain, come sunshine, you are there for that marriage. So yeah, this is what I'm going to use. Uh, the women. Yeah. So this is done. This is not the open, open the, the, the there. This is loud there. So we are showing you how to, how to open. This is the Lao granary. It's used for storing food after removing it from the garden. When you remove your maize, your millet, sorghum, you normally keep them in this in this granary. The Lao keep it in the granary and to keep it safe and to use it after after your harvesting period because you need to store food and use it after the harvesting period like for a longer time. So this helps to store that. If you have in large quantities, you can keep there all your produce here in this granary and you use it later afterwards. So basically this is what we have uh, for, 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 for the law allow uh, in heritage center. What we have about few tools. We didn't get the time to explore many of them, but if we get time we shall come back here again and we'll show you other version, other 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 items that you need to know as part of the law. So thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next video.
This is a demo. 